For the last year, I have been developing an accessible and affordable open source robot capable of dynamic motions based on electronically controlled compliance. This is a short project update at the one year mark. When I started this project, the first missing component I needed was a suitable motor controller and actuator. None of the existing options like an O-Drive or VESC had the right combination of form factor, power density, and update rate. Thus, I developed the open source Modius Brushless Controller, which is high power, compact, and intended for legged robotics. I started with experiments using an off-the-shelf VESC to get a feel for what was possible, but then switched to a custom board based on an STM32 F446. The resulting design operates at up to 30 volt input, can drive a motor with a peak power of over 400 watts, and is addressable over an RS-485 bus at 3 megabit. I'm up to the fourth revision and have assembled and operated around 30 of the most recent version. That includes thermal validation and hours of endurance testing while jumping. With the controller in hand, the next step was to develop an actuator which had an adequate compromise between mass, torque, speed, and compliance. I started trying to build a mostly 3D printed inline planetary gear train based on 3508 motors. Then tried to use a pure direct drive with some 60mm and some 81mm diameter motors. Then when Mini Cheetah was announced, decided to shamelessly copy the idea of putting the planetary gear set inside the stator, making a first attempt with a 3D printed assembly combined with post-machined off-the-shelf 8108 brushless quadcopter motors, then moved to have some components CNC machined from aluminum while others remain 3D printed. The resulting servo has a 6x gear reduction and weighs about 410 grams overall. The next step was assembling those servos into a leg. I started with a side-by-side -side geometry using the 3508 motors. Once I was using the slimmer 60mm and 81mm direct drive system, and subsequent servo drives, I switched to an inward facing coaxial mechanism, with a 3mm timing belt driving the lower leg. And now I have advanced to an inline coaxial mechanism with a 6mm timing belt that allows nearly complete rotation of the shoulder joint. Once the actuators were functioning, I started building them together into four-legged robots. I started out with a pure direct drive, which could stand, but not much else. Then I added gearboxes to the shoulders. This version could walk, but only barely. Then I put gearboxes into all the joints. This could walk, but the 3D printing was not robust enough to last, and the range of motion was limited. Currently the robot has four inline coaxial legs driven by servos with gearboxes. While more strengthening is likely needed, this version is capable of walking and at least some dynamic maneuvers. Now that the servos, legs, and chassis are mostly functional, I'm beginning to conduct more interesting dynamics experiments. Like standing up and sitting down from flush with the ground, commanding and monitoring all 12 servos at a high rate, and experimenting with some low power dynamic maneuvers. That's it for my update. If you want to learn more, subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, and read in-depth reports at jpeeper.com. Thanks for watching.